Nikki Janet Johnson, shaking your head for the defense. Spoken like a man, Joey. No, she's both. She's playing the role that she thinks he wants her to fulfill. She has low self-esteem. She's doing everything that it takes to get him to want her to be the girlfriend that she thinks he wants. And he doesn't even take her to Cancun when the trip comes up. I think as a woman, if I'm on that jury, I know who that girl is, and she's trying to say something that she thinks he wants to hear. All Travis's fault. Evan Bollock for the prosecution. You know, to, to paraphrase Forrest Gump, Jody's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get with her. And <laughs> it's absolutely come out into this trial here today. Um, and, and over the course of the week, when, when she's been mad, we've seen emails of her getting mad at Travis. She said she's capable of breaking up with Travis and multiple boyfriends. So are we really to believe that if this sex was so terrible and so degrading that she would have stuck around and, and kept going back for more? No way. Not at all. Ev Evangeline it's, Gomez it's for the defense. defense. Jane, I think the prosecution is mischaracterizing all the testimony that's been given thus far. She's a woman. It's her choice when she wants to have sex. Obviously, she did enjoy having sex with Travis Alexander. That's not the issue. The issue was, after the baptism, she did not want to engage in anal sex, okay? In this situation, she's sending him text messages saying that anal sex is okay. That's exactly what it's evidence of in that situation, in a different climate, in a different atmosphere, which is normal in any relationship. The defense There's talking about mischaracterization. About that. It's <laughs> wow. Exactly. I have to wonder, right, Mr. Jackson. With three direct Woo. coming up Monday, if the defense is watching the show as we know they have, and they're taking notes. <laughs> We're just getting started on the other side. A former Hollywood man.